This is Tyrone Mings. Some of you might know him as an Aston Villa central defender. Those of you who are not into football might not know him so well. He plays for Aston Villa and he also plays for England, but we will forgive him both of those sins because Tyrone Mings has an extremely interesting story. As a young man, uh, Tyrone Mings' family ended up having to go into a homeless shelter. So he would have been a primary school age. He can't remember exactly how young he was, but he and his family lived for a year in a homeless shelter. They were eventually able to get into social housing. And about the age of eight, he was enrolled in the South Haddam, Southampton's Sporting Academy. He was released at the age of 15. And the reason that Southampton released Tyrone Mings is they said he was not tall enough and that he would never develop the physique or the strength that he would need to compete at top level football. Tyrone Mings is now six foot five and looks like he weighs about the same as a small car. He's one of the most physical players in the Premiership, incredibly strong and fast. Yet Southampton at the age of 15 told him to quit. Thankfully, Tyrone Mings did not quit. He got himself into uh, an independent soccer school and he worked continually in the gym to build his physique, to build his strength. Now, he couldn't control his height. It was down to good fortune that his height sprouted to a six foot five build. But his body shape, that was something that he had more control over than many people like to admit. And by putting in hard work, controlling his diet, he was able to bulk himself out. He then went to a place called Chippenham Town, which was a semi-professional, a part-time league. And at that stage, most people would give up on their careers. But Tyrone Mings laboured away at £45 a week. He had to work in call centres and as a barman to supplement his wage. Eventually, he was sold to Ipswich Town for £10,000. He was subsequently sold to Bournemouth for £8 million. Aston Villa bought him in the first division at over £25 million from Bournemouth. He's now valued at about twice that. He would be one of the most desired because he's left footed. Left footed centre backs are very much in vogue and something that most teams want. He would certainly be worth a considerable amount of money and somebody that England would like in their team for, for the long term. He is one of the most valued players in the Premiership, which is one of the top football divisions in the world. So why are we talking about Tyrone Mings? Think about the labour that Tyrone Mings has put in over his lifetime. You can ask the question, how much money would somebody spend to have him? And that's one way of approaching his life. But the second way of looking at it is how much did Tyrone Mings value being a premiership footballer? You're told continually you're not good enough. You can't make it. A premiership club looks at you and says, forget it, son. You don't have the height. You don't have the strength. Give it up. You end up working part time with scouts coming, looking at you and saying, not for us. Yet he keeps going. He labours as someone who doesn't have a physical build to get a strong physical build. Think about the blood and sweat and energy that goes into that. Think about what determination can do. Don't ever let anyone tell you what you cannot do. Do not let anyone tell you that determination will not help you succeed. You may not reach the levels that you want to reach, but what you can do is get better and practice will always improve you. But Mings, when he sees the treasure that could be there at the end of his life, he makes an investment. He decides to make sacrifice. He gives up free time. He takes up part time work, work that he doesn't need to be doing. He managed to leave with decent grades. He could have gone a different route. He could have had a good career, but he decides to go part time football, part time work. He invests 
to get a treasure. And being a premiership footballer is a literal treasure. He's worth millions personally. Jesus tells a parable about a man who goes into a field, just a labourer, a day worker, someone who's probably hired a little bit down in the market to go out and to dig up a field for a farmer. Farmers occasionally would dig up a piece of land and find treasure. There were no banks worth speaking of in the day. So unless you had access to a temple which could keep your wealth, people tended to bury it. And if you died before you could dig up your wealth, it could lay hidden underground for hundreds of years. So this labourer goes out into a field in Jesus' parable and he digs up the ground for the farmer and his spade hits something that isn't earth. And as he digs, he finds treasure, maybe gold coins, something of value. What does he do? He wraps the treasure up and he buries it again. He goes home and he sells absolutely everything that he has. And he goes to the farmer who owns the field and he says to him, I'll give you money for that worthless piece of earth. It's worthless until I've dug it up. It's of no use to you. I'll pay you for it. And the farmer, not knowing there's a treasure there, accepts the payment. What's that treasure worth to that man? Everything that he has. What are you worth to God? You're worth God. The Son of God died for you. What are you worth to God? That's the price he pays for you. You know what you're worth by what someone will give up for you. You know how much you're loved. Not by much how someone feels for you, but by what they're prepared to sacrifice for you. What's God prepared to sacrifice for you? His own son. That's what he will give to get you. His only son. That's what the son will do to get you. He will suffer and bleed and die for you. And the question that you are now faced with is what do you give up for him? If you see that and you believe that's a treasure worth having, Jesus says, be like the man in the parable. Give everything up. Be prepared to hand over everything to me. Your life, acknowledge me as king, says Jesus. Acknowledge me as king is your life. Trust me as your saviour. You give everything for me. Because I give everything for you. You know what a treasure is worth to someone by what they're prepared to give up for it.